Hey, welcome back to the Board Game Closet. My name's Jimmy, and today I'm gonna to be doing a solo review on a couple of games that we were sent uh, to try out. And so I'm gonna give you my personal opinion on what I think about these few games. To start out, we've got these, uh, I guess you would call them a gum pack uh, type micro game here. This is uh, made by Chris Handy, is the designer. And uh, this is actually on a Kickstarter right now, Paco Game, uh, pacogames.com, I believe. It's made by Perplexed. And uh, I was pretty excited to get this in the mail. Uh, I didn't know what to expect when I first got these uh, because I heard micro game, pack of gum, weren't really sure what to expect. When I got them in the mail, took them out of the package, I was instantly uh, surprised and impressed. Now, the first thing that you'll notice about these games is the art quality. Uh, they didn't miss any punches, if I could say that. Uh, they, they didn't miss anything on this one. They really did. I mean, the packaging, I think is incredible. It's very uh, smart and witty. And uh, they were able to create inside this little pack of gum size uh, package some really cool stuff. And uh, I believe on Kickstarter right now for $24, I think you can get four different games. And so there's another game that I didn't get and they're hitting stretch goals right now. Uh, so it might be something that you'd be interested in checking out if this hits it for you because if you're looking for something uh, to throw in your backpack we recently got back from Gen Con and uh, I actually took these and I threw them in my backpack uh, so that we'd have something to do in our downtime or on the way there and uh, these are really neat games the first one that comes in the package is called fly and uh, this is actually almost like a dexterity game so it's really neat you take the cards out you lay them down on the table, it looks like a picnic table cloth, and then uh, you actually take the fly swatter and you drop it, which is pretty neat. Uh, the second one is uh, TKO, and this is a boxing one, so it's kind of pretty cool. You, you lay out all of your, uh, your guy there, and then you flip over a token, and you see one of the cards. You flip over one of the cards, and then you see if you were able to hit the person or if they blocked it. It's a pretty neat mechanic where it's just real fast, and you're playing, and you're moving up. And uh, if you win three times and you get the technical knockout, that's TKO. And then uh, Gem is just a, it's like an auction game. And so you're going to be trading uh, resources and going throughout the game. So you've got to manage what you got. And uh, I, just to be honest with you, I'm surprised at three radically different games that are played off of the same size cards. It's really intelligent. It's really cool. And uh, for the price, this hits right home with most micro games right now. It's in the 5 to $10 range. Uh, this is something that you could throw in your bag and take it wherever. And uh, at the price that you get on Kickstarter right now, I think it'd be worth picking it up because then you just have these anytime you go on a little trip. You're at the restaurant. Uh, want something to do while you wait on your food, pull out TKO or Fly or Jim. Uh, and I think they've got another one called Hugh. I, I can't remember all of them, but check out the Kickstarter and uh, you'll see what that's like. So, The second game that I want to talk about was sent to us uh, from Knapsack Games and it's called Knee Jerk. I actually got to uh, run into the designer of this at Gen Con as he was demoing the game. It's kind of neat because as I walked up to the table, he had a uh, a group of people that were demoing the game and uh, they were laughing and joking. They got up and left and then a whole different group of people came up, sat down, played the game and really enjoyed it. So that was kind of neat seeing it from the outside in. Knapsack is a really simple game to play. Basically it's a, uh, what's Knapsack, I'm sorry, Knee Jerk is a, a really simple game to play. Basically you lay out three cards and it's kind of neat how the graphic works. I'll see if I can lay this over on the on the screen there, but it's really simple. Just all three of these uh, overlay, and then you're just simply going to read uh, the la the whole phrase that lines up. So like in this particular instance, it says, I feel like this could be the end in the battle because someone made a face like this. And then uh, it's called knee jerk, obviously, because you want your very first reaction. So the way that a round works is somebody is the judge, they lay them all out, the first person to respond gets the last card, and then you lay out, the judge gets to pick a new card and lay it out there, and then you just read the next line. I feel like I'm in trouble at the beach because the zombie said, and then you gotta respond. So I see this working really well with a group of witty people, a group of people that uh, wanna just have fun and be stupid, your mind instantly goes a thousand places and some of them probably not good, but you just, you're just first knee jerk reaction. What's that gonna be? And so when I was actually at Gen Con, I saw two different groups. I saw a group of young people 
uh, that were demoing the game and then I actually saw a husband and wife couple that sat down and it was really neat to see how the uh, the young people interacted with the game and then the older people still got into it completely different humor uh, from the things that they came up with, but it really was the same reaction. So this is not a, a deep game. This is not a strategy game. This is not an in-depth game. This is just a mindless kind of, let's just have fun and see what kind of crazy things come up. So obviously your gameplay could be dependent on what the cards say, but I do see this uh, being something really easy to have expansions and special expansions, you know, this type of expansion or that one that would do genres of things, stuff like that. That could be a really neat thing and they could just add to this line. So anyways, I, I don't think Knee Jerk is on Kickstarter yet. I think it's going to be soon. So be on the lookout for that. And then uh, the Paco Games Kickstarter is running right now. And like I said, they're actually hitting some uh, stretch goals right now. So that could be something good that you might want to check out. So two uh, smaller games, maybe that hits a niche for you. Uh, check them out. Uh, check out some of our other videos online at theboardgamecloset.com and on uh, YouTube as well. And Rod's not here to say it, so I'll say it. Support your local hobby shop.